Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olson here from Super Simple Guitar, and welcome to another episode of Hang With Henry. Roll the intro. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out John Mayer together with Keith Urban, and they're going to be they're going to be playing Keith's tune, Sweet Thing. Now, when I first saw Keith Urban is going to be playing with John Mayer, I was really curious to see, you know, what was going to happen. And to my surprise, Keith Urban is a really, really killer guitar player, lead guitar player as well. Um, so the title of this is John Mayer and Keith Urban, Sweet Thing, Incredible Guitar Jam. So I had to see what that was. Um, so um, make sure to watch this until the end. I'm going to be kind of breaking down what's happening, some of the little ear candy that's kind of happening some of the little melodies and um towards the end they get into this crazy um jam session so make sure to watch to the end because it's really very interesting and i'm going to try to explain to you as much as i can about kind of what's happening so without further ado let's check out john mayer together with keith urban let's do it So first of all, listen to that groove, man, that, that drum and that bass, just how it's just moving things along like you can feel it in your body, right? Um, so that's kind of the first thing, um, just the groove that these guys have, you know, the band behind them. Second thing, what I want to point out here is listen to this little nice melody. So John Mayer is kind of grooving around. I think that's what he's doing. He's playing the, the note E on the 12th fret, and then the, the octave to that on the 14th fret, um, third string. Just giving us that E tonality, putting that in our ear. And it's, it's kind of a little bit syncopated. You know, he's not holding it down the whole time. His pinky's kind of, you know, adding in that... Um, no and taking it off it's also palm muted so we're kind of going between the 12th fret right something like that is kind of like what i'm hearing okay so he's just kind of pedaling that e there's a melody okay so that little melody is going to be a very memorable thing throughout the tune and that's just this little um kind of if you think of an e major triad tune is in E again, right? We're kind of playing a little piece of that triad, and then we're adding in this note here, which would be the, the fifth. Just we're playing the fifth down here, right? So it's kind of this, this nice little thing. Right, this nice little melody, and your ear is going to recognize that right so that's just a little interesting thing um that you can do in songwriting you know because songwriting isn't just about the chords that are being played it's these little memorable melodies in there that that is what your listener will remember right so that's what's happening um let's let's keep watching so listen for that so the chord progression is kind of this E going into A sus2 and then you you keep the A sus2 but you put the F sharp on the bass and the cool thing about that is with all three of these chords we have the open E and the open B ringing the whole time right so that's kind of making it sound almost modal right because you have that constant e kind of power chord those are the notes that are in an e power chord ringing out throughout right so it's really giving us this e tonality thing this open string thing so right and then the f sharp on the bass so that's like an f sharp minor kind of but we're we're getting those notes in there right so that sounds really nice Okay. 
one other thing about the E, you'll see how they're going. They're really going for it. What he's doing, this is what I think he's doing, I'm pretty sure, we're, we're playing the E major chord, but we're not pushing down on this note, right? Which is giving us a power chord sound, right? The only intervals, well, a power chord in the sense that there's no major or minor third, right? A power chord consists of the, the first and the fifth interval of the, the key you're trying to play in, right? So we're only playing the first and the fifth throughout. This is the one, this is the five, this is the one. We're muting out the third, then here you have the five again and the one. So that's giving us only the, the notes E and B, which are the notes that create the power chord of E, right? So that's what's allowing him to really just to go for it like that. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's a really cool trick you can do anytime you're playing an E major. Um, try to just release the pressure with your first finger and mute out that note, and it'll give you a really cool sound. See that? Okay. See that little melody coming in again? Right, see how that comes in again. So we hear it at the beginning, there's some, some you know, vocals that come in, then we get back into that little melody, and that's really centering us um, to the song. It's kind of giving the song its main kind of um, melodic texture that you're going to remember, or your listener is going to remember if you're writing the song. That's just E major pentatonic, just just going up the scale, right? See how Keith Urban is just going. He's just going for it, you know, and it sounds so crunchy because he doesn't have that that major third in there. I think that's my interpretation of it. All right, another thing that's happening there, another one of those kind of rememberable melodies. If you listen to a song a couple of times, um, you know, at home or in your car, this is what you're going to remember out of all the tunes. All these really cool licks and shreddy things that they're going to do later on. Um, it's not what your ear is going to remember. You're going to have this melody that they're playing right now stuck in your ear. Okay, so it's kind of this little, um, again, from um, E major, from the E major scale. And it's just going... Then, and then you'll see the second guitar come in and he'll play it all the way up here. Right? Listen, listen to that. And that's just this nice contrast between the two guitar players, right? One of them is in this lower register. The other one is going up to this higher register. And it creates this nice dynamic between the two of them. See that? Now one of them was higher, the other one was lower. Um, his hand appears to be here, but I'm hearing. 
I'm hearing the higher register. Sometimes in these recordings, and I could be wrong, um, sometimes in these recordings what they'll do is they will overdub things so the hand will be in one place, but then in the, in the recording studio they'll do a little overdub. So it's not always what you're seeing isn't always what you're hearing. Anyways, that's kind of what I'm hearing. Listen to that run. Oh yeah, Keith, Keith, Keith was all the way up there. Keith went up. I was looking at John Mayer's hands before. Okay, let's keep going. Look at that, look at that run from, from Keith. I'm not even sure what that was. Um, um. Something like that. He kind of just walked it back. Something like that. See what happened there? Keith said, break it down, boys. And now they're going to kind of take us down. We we have that kind of climax of the energy growing, the dynamics, right? Then he said, take it down, boys. They're coming down, right? And now is when the crazy solo part starts. Okay, so let's let's watch that one more time. And we're at the climax. in there from John Mayer. So now what's happening is we're kind of just grooving between this E and A, right? We're not going to that F sharp minor anymore, right? And that's allowing us to mix um, both major and minor E pentatonic, okay? And that's what John is doing now. He's going for the minor pentatonic, and Keith is kind of doing his solos in more of the major pentatonic um, um, scales. So that. See that E minor sound? Right, it's E minor sounding. The sound of the the song so far was major, right? And now we have that minor tonality in the solo, which sounds pretty cool. And what he was doing at the beginning, you know, this is a pretty long solo, but what he was doing there, kind of at the beginning, is attacking. He's attacking the strings pretty hard. So he's really going for a hard attack. And what I'm trying to do with these fingers is mute these other notes so that when I go for this note, I can really hit it hard without having those guys ring open. And it is challenging, but John Mayer is really good at
you see it's my thing is a little bit sloppy. I'm not John Mayer, but that's kind of what he's doing there. Touch. It almost sounded like he was playing with his fingers. Something like that. Not too aggressive yet. There's that thing I was telling you about. With with drive, it sounds even more. And of course, he has a lot of drive. I think he's on the, you know, the, I'm not sure if you call it the, Second position, I'm gonna call the second position pick up there. So not all the way up, but down here. Right? So it's Something like that. So he's making a lot of use of this kind of BB King, um, Albert King style bend. So what I'm doing there is I'm in the second position of the E minor pentatonic, bending up, and then going back to this note, but also bending it. So. So. Right. So really nice phrasing there. He's really trying to go. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but he's really making the most of every note that he plays and doing a lot of these these bends like Stevie Ray Vaughan style, Albert King style. All right, so what John Mayer is doing there now is he's going on to an E triad here. Something like that. So that's an E triad, right? And then you can add these notes to it, which, which is the fourth interval of E. Second interval, right? So something like that, right? walk up there was I think kind of like this so if you think of thirds he was I think playing like thirds in E right right but Again, because we're in E, we can mobilize or take make use out of those open strings, right? Which sounds pretty bluesy. That's what I think he was doing there. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> See, that's why I told you, Keith Urban can play the guitar. What was that? So again, here you can hear how Keith Urban is in major pentatonic. He's going for that major sound. Let's let's do it again. Something like that. 
So pure E major pentatonic there. And John Mayer kind of is in that minor register. So that's kind of messing with your brain a little bit because you're hearing kind of this major and minor um, tonality, excuse me, at the same time. I don't even know what that was. Something like that. I mean, I'm going to botch it, but it was kind of like this. So, let's just try with drive. Screw it. And the thing before was kind of like. Something like that. Something like that. So, it's this little walk up. Um, so that's first position. Let me get this drive off. First position, second position, and then going into third position. Something like that. Okay, so this part I can definitely show you. So this is kind of like third position pentatonic, except we're, we're taking this note. So third position would be this. But he's taking this note before this one, right? So bending up a half step into that note, right? And then going for this one here, so. Okay. That was, you know, it was all over the place. I can't even go that far up without my guitar choking out. So he was kind of out of tune, in tune, out of tune, just pulling that note all over the place. And it sounded very bluesy, very cool. <laughs> Wow. So anyways, there you have it, my friends. Keith Urban with John Mayer. I hope that I gave you some insight, some ideas here. Um, if you're if you have a loop pedal, try to play a E major chord, but kind of without that third um, finger pushing this uh, third, this major third down. So just mute out this note on the third string. Right. Which would be the third of E. <laughs> And then go to a sus2 and just loop that and then you'll see that you can solo in e major pentatonic and e minor pentatonic you'll be able to mix those two and it sounds really cool and that's what they were doing here again john mayer was kind of going a little bit more for that minor tonality the, those blues things and uh, keith was playing a little bit more melodic sticking into the major tonality right so um yeah watch this you know again with with this context try to play along it's a fun tune to play along try to solo along try to get some of those little licks by ear it's a lot of fun um there's a lot of them so you know you'll probably need some time but it's fun to do 
And that's about that. All right, my name's Henry Olson. Thank you for checking out this little um, episode of Hang With Henry. Let me know what song you would like me to do next. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel. Um, check out my All Access membership. If you are an All Access member, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. It helps me continue to make videos. Um, and that's about that. All right, have a great day. Henry Olson here. Over and out. Take it easy. Bye-bye.